okay so another practice scale and positioning is making this particular object it could be a building shape temple shape or something like this so let's try making this So we will start with a cube, fine. So let's add a mesh cube and let us scale it. First, I will scale this so that it is somewhat similar in size of this one. Grab it on Z and I'll place it here, fine, on Z axis, fine. This is still a bit bigger, so let me scale it a bit more. Grab it on Z. Again, it's not necessary that you have to go exactly with this scale. Fine. So, this is one. Next is these cubes are tapering. Fine. The heights of them are same. If you notice, the height is same, and but from top if you see they are tapering one by one so what we are going to do is we'll copy this cube control c control v grab on z and i would first scale it on z axis so that it is of one unit so grab on z okay and scale it on z so now this is roughly the size which I wanted. So I will grab it on Z and bring it down. Now I'm using control so it is moving unit by unit. Now what I can notice is first let's count how many of them are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of them are there. Now what you can do is you can create a copy and continuously reduce it by 0.9 or what i am going to do is first i will make 10 copies of it grab on z control c control v then i am going to select these two control c control v grab on z now i will copy this control c control v grab on z now eight are done so i'll make a copy of two more you see control v grab on z whatever suitable way you feel you can do it but this is how I would prefer. Now I am going to scale these. So here I will scale it on shift Z because I don't want the height to be reduced. So shift Z by 0 0.9. Okay. Now I could repeat this operation on this object or I could scale it by now 0 0.8. So either you can go by this mechanism. Fine. So scale this on shift Z by 0 0.9. Scale this on shift Z by 0 0.8. Then same by 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, so on. Or you could use something called as a repeat the previous operation. So if I press Shift R, the previous operation is repeated. But this time what has happened is it is scaled to 0 0.9. Now if I scale this again to 0 0.9, what's going to happen is it will be 0 0.9 size of this one. What is it currently? So if I do it twice over here, so it is of the required size now okay now i will select this so for this i repeat it twice this i will have to repeat it three times one shift r two shift r third time shift r this i will do it four times one two three four this i will do five times one two three four five one two three four five six one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now this looks a bit different because I think here the reduction was by 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and here the reduction is by 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Anyways, we have achieved it. Okay, so this is scaled by 0 0.22 units every time. So let's try that to get this. So I reduce this one by 0.9. Now let's go back 
we'll just see if we can get all of them back no let's do one thing now i'll copy paste this again grab on z grab on z grab on z okay this time i will reduce it by 0 0.8 reduce to 0 0.8 so scale on shift z by 0 0.8 now this will be much more better looking and shift r twice thrice one two three four times one two three four one two three four five one two three four five six one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine and this one one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so we have re reached this particular point now one thing to remember about shift r is that if you by mistakenly do some operation other than selecting and pressing shift r that operation is lost so be careful while doing that so like if i say i scaled this or something and now i do shift r this other operation is taking place it's not happening the reducing bar okay so this is one simple task that will help you work with scaling and positioning objects